Hello, my name is Amy Edgar and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to use the candy collection or most of the candy collection to do this lovely little look. And so um, please stay tuned to see that look and then towards the end of the video I will wrap the video up and give you kind of my thoughts on the pieces that I used from this collection. So if you want to see how this video and my review goes, stay okay, tuned. So today, let's get started using the I Want Candy Powder. And I don't know about everyone else's, so I've heard this collection is supposed to smell so good. Mine doesn't. It basically doesn't have a smell on most of these products, so it's kind of confusing from everything that I've seen online that or on different like pre-launch videos oh it smells so good i've got a pretty good sniffer and mine doesn't mine doesn't smell i feel cheated i feel cheated so the powder went on nice it's in a cute compact i love that it's in a yellow compact i don't know why yellow is my recent favorite color Okay, so today I used, so yesterday I used the Tropical Punch, and it lasted almost throughout the whole day. Not really, but it wasn't bad. These took a little bit longer to dry down than I had anticipated. Now this does have a, a good smell, but their lipsticks normally do. I would like this color. I think this is really pretty. This might be my favorite of the three. So yesterday, like I said, I used this one and I put a dab of this on the inside to make it just kind of a little ombre and kind of to lighten that bright pink right in the center of my face. That's probably really why I did the ombre. Let's, let's be totally honest. Okay. So, really thought this packaging was adorable. Absolutely adorable. Yesterday, I used the taupey colors and had kind of fun with those. Actually, yeah, I used the raspberry cocoa, the tote berry, and then some of these. And I'm kind of... Maybe I'll, I'll do something similar because I will say most of the matte palettes coming out right now or the nude matte palettes, they all look the same to me. Just a different manufacturer. We're gonna try a combo of what I did yesterday. So we're gonna take some banana cream. And mine just does not smell. Ugh, that is so depressing because one of the reasons that Too Faced usually gets me is because the palettes always smell so pretty. I will say every time I order direct from Too Faced and I want something really fast, don't expect it. This came like two weeks later than it said originally that it was going to. They, they frustrate me. They frustrate me. Okay, let's use some cream puff. My first notice I got from Too Faced was, oh, your candy palette's coming. You'll have it next Tuesday. So I think I was supposed to have it like the Tuesday, maybe after Labor Day. Got all excited. Mm-hmm. It showed up not yesterday, the day before. I got an updated message that says, we were kidding, your palettes or your order's going to be late. And I thought, you know, I... I did this, I got frustrated with the last palette I ordered from them in December, which was the peach palette. I don't know why, they just don't have their, they don't, they don't have their stuff in order. All right, I'm gonna pick up some pastry. And you would think they would learn after frustrating their clients time and time again that maybe they shouldn't do that. But I guess they have enough following that they don't really care. Because I emailed them and asked them about, you know, what happened between the first order date, the first email I got that said my, my stuff had been shipped, and then all of a sudden I get an updated email from Too Faced saying, oh, congratulations, your stuff just shipped. So what was funny to me is those emails came from Too Faced that my order shipped at two different times. Now, I didn't get two different packages. 
Um, and so I asked about it from Too Faced and the lady at Too Faced responded with basically, it's the carrier's fault. Oh, okay. I thought you had to give it to the carrier first. They're just not very nice there. But like I said, I shouldn't be surprised. Okay, so now we're going to pick up some raspberry cocoa. I just feel sorry for Candy because, you know, she's just so adorable. And when these beauty influencers mix with them, you, you just expect the company to do right by them. But I guess that's not how the world works. Okay, so now we're going to kind of mix these all together. Just is a totally different look than I did yesterday. Not that you guys know because you weren't on that. I was just playing yesterday. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up some frosted pink. And this kind of is coming out a little chunky. I tried using a brush yesterday and it really just didn't pick up. And this isn't doing, I mean, it's picking up, but you definitely probably need to use your finger. Hmm. I think I'm, I am going to pick up this hot chocolate. Yesterday I didn't pick up any dark colors, I just kept it really light. And that always feels odd to me. I guess because I normally do a, more with darker colors that when I actually do something light, it just feels odd. Now I'm going to pick up the hot chocolate here and use that for the bottom eyelash line. So now I'm going to take this sugared strawberry, which is a lighter or maybe more of a pinky pink. We're going to try that right here. So I'm not using the same colors on the bottom that I used really on the top, except for that chocolate hot chocolate because I want to just kind of give it not the total same look but a similar one just for fun. Okay now we're going to pick up this color here called ice cream and I'm just going to dab that right up underneath my brow and I'm going to dab right on the inner corner. Okay so now we're going to get into Candy's um candy liner. It says it's, I guess it's supposed to smell like black licorice. Spoil alert. Mine doesn't. But I do, I was telling my sister-in-law about this yesterday. I really do like the little angle. And so once I use this up and it's no more, I will keep this end piece to put eyeliner on. Now the one thing that I did not like, it did it does take me a minute to use it. One thing that I, hell, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my God, part-timers moment. Okay, so I do like that little end that is kind of pointed. I still have not mastered the eyeliner yet. It's not, I guess because when you get used to having a brush, it's softer and this is just like a hard edge. So I did a much better wing yesterday, of course, because I wasn't filming. Story of my dang life. My makeup is always better when I don't film. And it could be because I'm not talking. Hmm, maybe I should learn from that. I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Candy Too Faced tutorial and now mini review. So I think this um, did not this collection did not kind of stand up to the hype and that was absolutely depressing for me for candy Too faced i know is hit and miss and so that's one of the things that you just kind of get used to because you love the brand and it's amazing that such a huge branding company is still so hit and miss so i do love how the this is packaged absolutely gorgeous the names are adorable I mean, everything about the collection is absolutely adorable, but it didn't live up to all the hype. 
and um, mine other than the lipsticks or the lippies they didn't really have any kind of a smell as far as the eyeshadows go I think that you know they were good they're average they're not over the top oh my gosh pigment had they're almost like they were completely manufactured by a different company than the company that put this out so I just find it really odd that the formulas in these two are so incredibly different that it's like you're basically shopping at two different companies but they have the same name. I, I've never understood that about Too Faced. I'm so glad for Candy though. I mean this really is a cute collection. I'm just sad that Too Faced let her down as far as the collection goes. I mean they did kind of a jam up job on this palette. Why wouldn't they have done a jam up job on this one? Who knows? So anyways, I probably give this collection maybe a B or a B minus. It, like I said, it, it's okay. I'm trying to think if I'd repurchase anything. Actually, there's nothing on here that I feel like that I would repurchase again. Um, I'm, you know, enjoying using them for the first time. And, but this isn't anything that I'm going to say, oh, I've got to pick this up or I've got to leave this out on my makeup table because I'm gonna use it over and over, with the exception of this little eyeliner. The eyeliner does not necessarily, it doesn't smell like black licorice. It does travel in my creases a little bit, but why would I keep this then? Because I want the little, this little wand thing. So it hasn't come naturally for me, but I can see that once I get this wand thing down, I'm gonna really like it. I've only used it twice. And I, you know, I do like it. I just got to practice with it more. So once that is empty, I will actually use that one thing, you know, put on whatever other liquid eyeliner I want to use and use that. So other than that, I wouldn't repurchase anything in this collection, which is an absolute bummer. So anyways, I am interested in hearing your comments on this collection. Are you over the moon? If you have both the the sweet or the sweet peach, um, the just peachy matte palette and the candy palette, which one is your favorite? Or if you've just tried the candy palette, how do you feel about it? Is it like over the top for you? Is it just me, or is this something that um, you just didn't like? I'm totally interested in your feedback. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it and you have a choice so make it a great day. Until next time.